what does Willie Loman say in uh, Death of a Salesman? He's just a ship looking for a safe harbor. Yeah, we put a ship in the water, and it turned out to be a turbo engine sub. Just took a while for it to land wherever it landed, but our, our view of uh, the quality of what we did, I, I feel we're in an interesting situation where we're all alive to see history validated somehow. Not only us, but Andy's faith in us and our faith in ourselves the, uh, and the integrity that's gone into it and all these years never to betray it. We have time to point to as the uh, real judge of who or what did what first, best, and always. The proof is in the work and the work is on record. There's a huge amount of compassion, I think, involved in the records. The compassion is real. Uh, a lot of the feelings for uh, outsiders, people from uh, outside the system. What did that mean? Presumably you didn't have much musical input. Well, the advantage of having Andy Warhol as a producer was that because he was Andy Warhol, they left everything in its pure state. Which, and they would say, is that okay, Mr. Warhol? And he'd say, oh, yeah. And so they didn't change anything. And so right at the very beginning, we experienced what it was like to be in the studio and record things our way and have essentially total freedom. The record company never listened to the records in the first place. So they came out exactly like they'd been made. And we got to experience that freedom. But the only real reason I think we had that freedom is because Andy, as the quote producer, was saying, oh, that's great. And they say, oh, well, should we do this and that too? He said, oh, no, you should. It's really great. So he was a catalyst. He was a protector. Is I'll Be Your Mirror a song about that whole business of, of, of Warholism, if you like, of reflecting back to people what they want to see? It's, well, it's about reflecting back more than just what they want to see. It's sometimes reflecting back to them what they should see and don't know. It takes a certain kind of arrogance to say that. But the whole philosophy, for me, of the writing is summed up in I'll Be Your Mirror. That, and I still believe that. Because it said, reflect what you are in case you don't know. But it's also very, I'll be the wind, the rain, the sunset. It's very compassionate, very nice, very loving, which is not something you usually associate with that. But I do. Was it the first song you wrote for Nico? Uh, I don't know. I wrote that for Nico on my own. But Nico needed a song. And uh, Femme Fatale was written, but that was Andy's title. He said, uh, oh, oh, we should have a femme fatale. That's what Nico is, a femme fatale. I find it hard to believe you don't know the beauty you are, but if you don't... Uh, it's a volatile brew, so uh, we make a certain kind of music, the four of us together. And I think we all genuinely like one another and what we do. I think everybody's trying to get along and things that could have blown it apart and did. I think everybody's being very careful not to do that right now because we respect each other and the music enough to try to contain lunacy. Did you need the time apart? We needed 25 years apart. 